Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be a very special day, but before we get into why it's going to be special, let's just take in the fact that how beautiful it is this morning here in Western North Carolina. It's 5 a.m. It's going to be about 65 this morning, 85 for the high today. Birds are out. They're chirping. We got us a fat cup of chocolate milk. Hey, go Pirates. But now, to get into why it's going to be special, today we're having a family fish off. That's right. Me, Dad, and the little bro are going to go at it to see who can catch the most fish. The only rule is that there are no rules. So let's get after it. Hey, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, turn on the notification bell, drop a comment, follow along with us, and let's get fishy with it. All right, so we're out here on the pond. I'm throwing a swim bait. Dad's throwing a Yamamata Senko, and the brother's got a little curly tail worm on. So we'll see who wins this thing. Watch your dome. Come on, you little sucker. Get out of them lily pads. Come here. There we go. Lily pad in the face. Sorry if the camera fell. I have drag issues, so I have to set it a little bit harder than probably normal. Got a good hook set, though. Yeah, it didn't drag as much. Fish number one, little guy, doesn't matter. Chandler's on the board. Don't know why I'm talking to myself in third person. There he goes. <laughs> Do what? I got one running with it. Number two, but I think he swallowed it. Yeah, he did. He's bleeding. Oh, yeah. That was my fault. I couldn't. He didn't hit it hard. He just took it and ran with it. And I, like, I thought I felt it when he hit the, when he hit the water. But it wasn't really a thud. It was barely there. But then the line went slack and it didn't run. And I tried reeling it in. Oh, show him to the camera real quick. He's bleeding, guys, so we're going to get him back in the water pretty quickly. Look at that. Ate the Senko. Sorry about the hook, little dude. Bigger one, number two. Pretty bass. Let's get him back in the water so we can stop bleeding. Keep going. The guy who was having all the issues earlier finally got him one. Hold him up. There you go. Landon's on the board. Can you get the hook out?
That's a good hook set. What a release. Atta boy. I got three in here. Well, about to be two. Here we go, making a transfer. Boom. Soft hands right there. My guy could have been a receiver. Saban will call him here soon. With hands like that, it don't matter. Got him? Get him in there, that a boy. Nice. Two. Oh, he's bigger. I was so sad, I told you I was having that issue. Dad's on the board, watch out. Two. He didn't swallow it, did he? These fish are being wacky. Oh, fish are being wacky today. Hold it up for the camera real quick. There you go. Dad's on the board. Dad's, Dad's getting on the board. He's got two. Oh, that's a decent one, friend. That's a little chunky one. There you go. Got a perfect pin right there. So if you get him in the roof of the mouth, that's when you got him pinned right. Oh, I know it wraps around. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> oh, there's a spider there too. We're getting out of here. Time to move. I ain't playing around with that. No sorry, Bob. I'm getting a hit. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Come on, I didn't get a good hook set because I fell down. Come on, stay down. Come on, come on. Let's go. Oh, I'm so glad I got that on camera. <laughs> okay well that was a fun series of events Whew. all right fish number three sorry for all the uh eradication going on i bumped into a little tree over here and there was a spider web and i'm absolutely terrified of spiders so i was moving and as i was moving i got hit and when I set the hook, I fell down. I can't believe you stayed on through them lily pads. Look at that. Bass number three. See you, dude. That was funny. <laughs> I had him hooked pretty good, too. Oh, oh, stay on, stay on. Yeah, it is. Come on, get him there. Oh, get him through them pads. Nice. What did I tell you? I said, if dad, I said, if dad heats up, 
It's going to be on. Hold it up real quick. Oh, yeah. As soon as I set the hook, I heard that thing. Was Come on, get out of there. Come on. Come on. Woo! Now that's what I'm, t now we're getting there. Hot dog. That's a bigger one. That's the biggest bass we've pulled out of here in several years. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's why I'm ex hooked him in the bottom jaw on the top. All right. I know this isn't a big old five pound bass, but oh, yeah, that hurt. Mm. Strip that hook right into my finger. Back to what I was saying is, is that no, this isn't big five pound bass but the reason i'm jacked up is because we hadn't pulled out pulled a bass out that big in a while that thing is fat bigger mouth probably that's probably about two pounds maybe a little over yes sir let's get that release back in i think it's thick let's go oh. Oh, hold on to the rod, Taylor. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I'm in there. Don't you do it. Don't you. Oh, I think he can't. I don't know. He's still on there. This is why you need a heavy rod, everybody. This is exactly why you need a heavy rod. For this reason, exactly. He came off. No, he didn't. He came off. Maybe. Nope. We got him. Let's go. My hands, for some, my rod has been wet all day for some reason. So I set the hook, I about dropped it in the water. I got, I got him good too. You don't know how close I was to hitting this, hitting the spool release again. Come on. Quit. Hey, I'm trying to help you, buddy. There. Oh, got him right on the top of the nose. Perfect hook set. If you can pin him in the nose like that, like I said yesterday, it's very tough. Oh, it's very tough for them to come off. Yes, sir. Number five, number five, number five. Thanks, dude. Hi, hey, boy. Hold it up real quick. Hey boy. Got another one. Let's go. Oh, I lost my worm. I got him. Number six, that was a good hook set too. He took off of that thing. That thing was, I was almost reeling it in to try to get some slack out and he just took it and ran with it. There you go. Number six on the day. Oh, nope. There he goes. Might have broke his daggum spine on the side of the boat, but He'll be fine. Here we go. All right, so we just got home and just got done for the day. We had an incredible day out there. We had a lot of fun. We ended up catching 13 fish, and it's just always a blast whenever you get to fish with your family members. So I highly encourage you to find a way to fish with your family members and compete against each other because it's always a blast and it's a lot of fun. Um, 
we ended up getting, like I said, we had 13 fish. I caught six, my brother caught four, and my dad ended up catching three. This low pressure that's moving in made those fish super active. So we got a lot of, a lot of cool bites and a lot of cool moments out here on the camera. So we had a blast today. Thank you for following along. Please subscribe to the channel. Please hit the like button, hit the notification bell. Thank you for all that you do. All that you do. We're probably going to be next video will be a while. We uh, we're supposed to have rain over the next four or five days, but we're get, we're going to get out there as soon as we can. So keep following along. Stay on the lookout. Thanks for everything. This has been awesome. I can't wait to see where this goes and stay fishy.